Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem C from the latest Code Chef September lunchtime 2020 problem name root the tree. Though this problem seems difficult at the start like reading this problem, but I will tell you the logic and you will be amazed how simple this question is. And I will also tell you the intuition how I thought about this question and let's start about this discussion of this problem. So you are given a dietary tree. So what a dietary tree is? A dietary tree is a dietary graph such that all its edges were undieted. This graph would be a tree. So just remove this. A rooted dietary tree is a dietary tree in which there is one vertex which is like the root vertex such that it is possible to reach all its vertices of the graph from R. What does this mean? It simply means that a rooted tree means that there should be a root and there are some other nodes like this and it is always possible because it is a rooted tree you can reach from the root till all the other nodes that's what is written here which means that a rooted dietary tree is a dietary tree in which there is one vertex the root such that it is possible to reach all its vertices of the graph from r r means the root by moving along the dietary edge simple so like in a dietary rooted tree there is only one root from which you can reach all other roots because it, it is dieted you can move along those edges and you can reach every other node now so now you are given a dieted tree with n edges so it is dieted tree not a rooted dieted tree so there is a difference from a rooted dieted tree you can reach from one singular node there is only one single node existed from which you can reach every other node but in a dieted tree which means it is a tree it is just a graph there is not a perfect or there is not a singular node from which you can reach every other node it is just a dieted graph okay but if you like if you just redu reduce down the edges from the graph such that it is become a dieted tree so you are given n vertices and uh, the number of edges will be obviously n minus 1 because it is a tree and now you can do the following operate like following operations any number of time in which you can choose some edge from the current graph which is existed to you you can choose any edge remove that edge from that position and what you can do add a new edge in any other positions connecting two other nodes as you want such that it is again a dieted tree but after all these operation it should become a rooted dieted tree so you are yeah you the question asks you to find out the smallest number of operations you have to do such that you can take out some edges and put it in some other places such that after all of these operations that the graph the dieted graph should become a rooted dieted graph okay so that's the whole question now let's move on to some examples and see how you can manipulate your question to find out the following answer okay as you can see this is a rooted dieted graph but as you can see if i have like this it is not a rooted dieted graph because if i am on this node or like on any other node there is not a singular node from which i can reach every other node if i do something other if i switch this position or if i like do like this then this is a root which means that i can if i am starting at, like starting on this root or this node then i can travel all the other nodes that's why this is a tree or this is a rooted tree so i hope you get my point so now it is very complicated to because in general also it's very complicated to take out some node put it somewhere else and then check out some another graph but you can always do some observation first before exceeding into the question you can always see that if you just take for every node the root node is that only single node which do not have an in degree in degree means because every node should because if there is it it is a form of tree and you can reach from one node to every other node because that's only a rooted dieted tree from a node you can reach every other node which means every node should have a in degree because you can reach that node but the top node the root node shouldn't have an in degree because you cannot you have to start from any node and you can reach every other node so that's the whole key point of this question which means that there should only exist one node which is having an in degree equal to 0 and all the other nodes 
should have any number of in degree we don't matter but if in the question we can find out different nodes which have different in degrees as you can see in this this node has in degree 0 it has out degree 1 this has out degree 1 and in degree 0 this has in degree equal to 2 so if I calculated out how many nodes have in degree equal to 0 I only want that my in degree should be equal to 1 so what can I do if this is pointing towards this if I just flip out this uh, edge I can easily make in degree to this node equal to 1 I hope you get my point and such that now if I just reverse this I can reach to this node because initially this node doesn't have any in degree I cannot reach this node so every node should have an in degree then only I can reach from one node to every other node but only one node should be present such that it it like the in degree of that node should be equal to zero and that's the whole question that's the whole idea for this question you have to count out how many in degrees for every node are there and if there are a lot of nodes which have in degree equal to zero it will actually help you to know that if like the total number of nodes which have in degree equal to five then i have to flip four nodes four edges such that if i flip those four edges the nodes which have in degree equal to zero will have in degree equal to one and now my task is fulfilled and after four flips only one edge will be remaining or one node will be remaining which have in degree equal to one and that's and then because it is a tree it is a tree there always will exist one path one always will, will exist because there is an in degree there will always exist one path and because there is only one node which has a uh, root equal to or uh, like which has in degree equal to zero which means that must be the root i hope you get my point so i'll take it on to the code part now so it, it's also very simple i have made an in degree and out degree but you just can do the solution with in degree only you don't need to do an out degree so take the input of x and y the the uh, edge you are given from x till y uh, decrease down x and y by minus one because you are given the indexing from one but we are doing an indexing from zero and then if there is an edge like this from x till y so x should be having one out degree and y should be having one in degree so x out degree should increase and y in degree should increase and then total is zero then i will count out how many edges in this whole vector of in degree should be equal to zero and the answer is i have to flip all the node or like for all the edges except one so if there are five nodes which have in degree equal to four or like zero then i have to flip out four four edges to make them in degree equal to one and there will remain only one node which have in degree equal to zero so how many flips we have to do the total number of nodes which have in degree equal to zero minus one and that's the answer I hope you get my point as well as the code and the logic itself. If you still have any doubts, we mentioned now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.